All right, here's another example. Given the domain, we want to find the range. And our uh, function in this one is m equals 1 half of n plus 3. So what we want to do is plug in our domain, which is the input for n, to find out what our range is or the output. What is m? So I'm going to make a table here. I'm going to put n on the left and m on the right. Now you may be used to seeing x and y, and that's fine. You can think about it like that. It's an input and output, a domain and a range. So given the domain, we're able to plug in here, run a computation, and find out what our range is. So I'm going to take 1 half of negative 2, which is negative 1 plus 3, and I get 2. Negative 1 times 1 half is negative 1 half, plus 3 is going to be 2 and a half. If you're having trouble with fractions, you're going to need to review those. 0 times 1 half is 0, plus 3 gives me a 3. 1 times 1 half is 1 half plus 3, 3 and a half. 2 times 1 half is 1 plus 3. We're going to end up with 4 on this one. So our range is now our m value. And it's going to be 2, 2 and a half, 3, 3 and a half, and 4.